Hello everybody, we are back again with more Inscription and we are continuing in on our adventures trying to get through these levels. We're getting better and better and I've been given a few tips since the last episodes. I'm hoping that we can make something work here. Let's hope we can actually have some good runs. Basically, one of the things that I've learned, I've reflected since the last time I played. I, did, I played just earlier today, it's not been too long. But one of the things I learned... Um... I prepared to make the right deals is the um ooh, okay a gift from the angler you see he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself it would be unfortunate if uh, you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance this hook is powerful you may steal one car uh, one of my cards with it for that reason you will not find any other along the path use it wisely I've dealt your deck okay now we may begin. So, uh, basically, one of the tips that I was given is high cost, high, like, high blood cost cards aren't all that good. Like, it, well, they can be, but they're very hard to use. Also, I think, I think I kind of understand how to do this now. I'm still not really sure. So, I'm supposed to be dealing... Five damage, so that's only gonna give me two. Nah, I still don't get it. I thought I got it. I still don't get it. It's always two. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't understand this one at all. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna not bother with that one. I thought I understood it. Never named gave me a, a little tutorial on how that one goes, but I had not a single clue what I was meant to do with that thing. So, oh. The smoke. I do relish suffering, um, snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you. Okay, this thing's doing its own thing. Yeah, so maybe I'll get around to that. That's fine. We don't need it. Uh, I've turned down the game volume a little bit. Uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. I just noticed the last two episodes they were a little loud. Hopefully I can change those in post, but we'll see. But let's push forward, shall we? So we still get this. This doesn't go away. Maybe I'll turn it up just a little bit because it does seem a little quiet now. Um, maybe it's the music? I can't tell what it is that I need to change. I'll be, I'll be honest. Maybe I'll just turn the master up one. Okay. Right. Um, let's use this again, shall we? Ringworm, skink, and... Casey. We'll take Casey, shall we? Casey seems interesting. Maybe we'll buff up Casey on the on the fire. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go double on HP for Casey. We have no food, one said. Perhaps some health. Nice. Yeah, let's do it. Let's 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 beef up Casey as much as we can. Boom. And let's try it again. Let's try it again. The risky risky. Yes! Okay. Steal Casey back. That's good stuff. Right. Okay, we gotta go this way, that's fine. I'm understanding the uh, the points of interest a little more now as well, I think. The atmosphere is so nice though. Right, um... Let's play a squirrel, and then take Casey out and put you there. So let's just take a look here. We've got sharp quills, and um, also we've got this one. We're gonna strike twice, okay. I don't think we can play much more there, so let's just go for that some teeth in there. Okay, that's been taken out. Um, I'll just take one of my normal cards, I think. we got our stir. I'm just going to stay, stay there for now because that's going to take out the wolf. One more hit for us. Um, Yeah, we'll try and play our stir here. Let's grab a squirrel, shall we? Place that there. Do that, then place you there. Bad player. Why are you always taunting me? I think that went okay. We tipped the scales a little bit in our favor there. Then we'll go for a squirrel again. We'll put out our bullfrog. Bullfrog doesn't seem all that good so far, but it's decent enough, I think. I think that's another thing that's going to take us a little while. Just learning what cards are good and what cards aren't. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a process, obviously. We'll jump along. Do this. 
So we want to stick with low cost. So we've got a warren. I actually quite like the warren for getting some extra rabbits for fodder. I really want to beef up Casey to the ultimate amount here. Although, more health isn't really what Casey needed, I'll be honest. Um... Yeah, maybe I won't beef up Casey. Maybe I'll just, like... We've, we've just got the Warren, so let's beef up the Warren a few. One. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Yes, we get so lucky with these. I'm never going for a, for a third, but two. Two is good. And then on to our first big fight. We can deal with this. We've got the good, some good stuff here, so... Squirrel goes out. Casey, you, you can come out first with your good HP and stuff. And then we'll try and get that wolf out next, maybe. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. Takes out you. Alpha's going to get a hit on us, but that's okay. That's not a lot. And then we get another squirrel. We play the squirrel. And now we can play our wolf. There you go. Good damage all around. And that's going to tip the scale in our way. On the next turn so i think we just go for a little bit of that place you down and this should do us a good amount of damage over to give us a good few extra for the shop good good okay another thing i need to be careful of is keeping my deck thinner my deck I'm, I'm, I'm making my decks a little too big here and not really working out for me ah the pronghorn yeah we'll take the pronghorn i like the pronghorn a lot and this is a good way of us getting rid of cards as well. So let's uh, sacrifice our bullfrog. Yeah, sacrifice our bullfrog here. And we'll just throw on... For now, let's just throw on our wolf. Just get rid of our bullfrog, which is a card that I'm not that fond of anyways. It makes our wolf a little bit more defensive. We've got the trapper over here. Yeah, let's go this way. I don't want to fight a sigil battle yet anyways. Lucky draw. Yes, we'll do that. And then that. Probably should have put you there, actually, but that's fine. Okay. You might kill... Yeah, you might kill Casey there. Uh, might have been a little bit of a mistake, to be honest. Uh, let's play out you and then play out our warrens here and you can go there but yeah we're probably gonna lose casey here which is a bit of a shame should have thought of that oh wait it's a flying creature i can't lose casey while that flying creature's there which is kind of problematic because it means i can't kill it hmm um <laughs> draw a normal card Ooh, okay we've got a pronghorn here that's good i think we should Get rid of our warren in order to play the pronghorn there, just to get rid of that. Then, rabbit, you can go there as fodder. Hey, there you go. That tips the scales in our way. Pick up another card here. That's our wolf. Okay. It's a bit of a battle, this is. A bit of a fight. Um... I still think we, we we stay stay as safe as we can like this. Okay, he's accepted. We can accept the wreath from him now. Uh, we just grab that. Me again. There you go. He takes his loss. And we move on. The finest pelts for sale. Once again. Hey, we get the golden pelt this time. Nice. Okay. Try and keep that uh, keep that safe. And again, we can get rid of uh, another semi-useless card here. Let's have a look. Honestly, let's get rid of this, this stink bug here and add that effect to... Add it to the U. Why not? There you go. You can have that. 
we're on to this prox prospector. I think we should be able to do decently well at this guy. Just remember that after his first lost life, we, we get rid of everything. We got a greater smirk there. Interesting. Okay. Let me crack him open. Oh, my lord. Right, we got a golden pelt in hand. Um, so maybe we'll go with that and that and then sacrifice both for our wolf. Yeah, sounds good to me. We don't want to play our best stuff yet. So, yeah, let's play a, let's play a squirrel here and then play a warren here and then a rabbit here. Just to keep it protected. That pack mule is going down. We've kept him in a nice spot there. Um, and then we'll take this. We don't want to play the rabbit pelt, really. Do you know what? No, I will play it. I will play it just to protect us a little bit while we kill the pack mule. Aha! My mule. I see. Okay, that's interesting. I haven't actually done that before. I got some extra cards in my, uh, in my hand. So... We'll take off here. Hey, we got Casey, so let's put down our squirrel and then we'll go put Casey. Yeah, put, put Casey there. She might die pretty quick, but that's fine. We got a beaver in hand, that's fine. As much as Casey's a good card, there you go. That, that's, the, that's what we're looking for. Right, and then I think we want to go for another free squirrel here. Put you down there. Porcupine goes there. It's kind of fodder. It's going to die pretty quick, but... Oh, no. No. Okay. That worked out. And then... Draw one of these. Pronghorn for, is for our next go. We've already got a lot on the board right now. These guys are going to turn to gold. At the minute, we can't play anything. That's fine. So let's just grab. Let's just grab a few squirrels while this this dog do, does his thing. Yeah. Oh, sugar. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I am now a little confused. I I gotta admit. Gonna have to go for this, aren't I? Okay, that hits you. That finally gets rid of that. Good. Okay. Um, grab another squirrel. Go squirrel. Then. What does a beaver do? When a card bearer, a dam is created in each empty adjacent space. Okay. So that's actually fine. So we'll play that and get rid of both of those and put you there. That builds us a dam there. Good. Get rid of you. Grab that. Put our coyote down here. That's easy. Finally, his dog's gone. We've got a wolf cub here. That's mostly fine. I think we're good here once again. Hey, this is it. We've got this. There you go. Tip the scale in our, in our way. In our favour. Nice one. A little bit risky that we got it. And we can take a rare card here. Let's see what we've got going on. Ooh, I think the Mantis God is, is just a very, very good card. If we can level it up a little bit. So I'm going to take that once more. Three of the Prospector's unhinged gaze. You look ahead. Okay, it feels, feels like we've we've at least gotten pretty good at the first two areas. The dank smell of tepid water invades your nostrils. You have reached the wetlands. Go for that look again. Hmm. I, yeah, I'll take a cockroach because we don't have any burn. Uh, burn things at the minute. We get a, we have a lot of burns in our uh, in our stash normally. Okay, this is damage. This is good. So 
This is a big risky, but I've got to give it a go. I've got to go for it twice. Yeah. I knew that was a really big risk, and I'll probably die for it this run. But I feel like the, those campfires win or lose you runs, and you've got to take the risk. If it doesn't work out, then that's just so be it sort of thing. That there. Do you know what? Let's just... That's fine. Good. I forgot the program would move. God damn it. That was not what I intended. Shit. Uh, take a regular card. It's gonna have to be okay. It's dead. Ooh, we're so fucked. Whoa! Wow, that was a lot of damage. Those are the turns that I have no idea how you avoid yet. I don't know how you get out of that situation. There's definitely a way, but I don't know how. Hey, it's Turtle. It's me. Um, yeah, let's grab that. Yeah. Get rid of... I don't actually have much that needs to get be getting rid of, to be honest. Let's just go with the rabbit hole for now. It's not that good. Go this way again. Okay. Get extra burns at the start of every turn. Me again. Good. Extra damage there, straight off the bat. Oh my lord. How do you live through that? I just did I just don't have the stuff to protect myself here. Like right, I'm I'm dead, aren't I? I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Oh, not quite, but very nearly. I I I don't I don't mm. I don't really know how to protect myself in this scenario. Okay, so us getting rid of the Mantis the Mantis Lord there is basically what killed us. Almost time to die. Let's go again. That's fine though. Well, we're going to have some bad runs here and there. That was a clear-cut bad run. The Pronghorn's not that good when it moves. Golden Pelt. Um... Go with the wolf. And the death cycle, I guess. There you go. Um, me. Okay. This will be all. Okay. Let's get a bit better this time. See what the premonition tells us as well. Gilly Suit Man has something to say, as always. Or something to paint, should I say. The knife itself. Just the knife on its own this time. God knows what that means. Maybe I need to be using the knife more often. Often. Sometimes I wish I hadn't done away with Grimora. She at least was a worthy opponent. Okay, it seems like we didn't pretty much always get this starter deck. I don't know if there's any way to change that. Go straight up through the through the fire to start with. Use our clover here. Okay. We've got a me with flight. It's a two blood cost. Let's let's take the skink instead, actually. The single blood cost. Let's maybe level up the skink a little bit and see how that goes. Let me just see. Um when a card uh, is struck. Tail is placed in its place and the card is moved to the right. Okay, so actually having more health on this thing is a good thing. Okay, there you go. Good, good. Yeah, I feel like the, the, with the campfires, you have to take the risk. It's like the only way to do well. you got to beef up those cards. Good. Even though it's not got a lot of damage, it's the best we got. Oh my lord. Brutal. That alpha 
is going to destroy us. Yeah. Then the wolf goes down. The wolf's got the damage now to tip the scales in our, in our balance. Take a normal card. Good. There you go. And honestly, honestly. Do that. Place that down. This should win, is it? There you go. That was rough to start there, but we did it. Grab that. Still don't really know how the clover works, but I keep using it. Mantis. Let's grab the mantis. That mantis was really good last time. We take the campfire once again. Plus two health. God damn it. Why'd you keep giving me health? Again, with the mantis, we have to go whole hog here. That's one upgrade. We've got to go for two. There you go. Just puts us in so much of a better position. Okay. Take this. And this time... Ooh, beasts can go underground. That could be problematic. Okay, so a mantis can go here pretty easily. And we can do that. There's a bit of damage here and there. The wolf cub? Eh. I don't know how problematic that's going to end up being. I think we should do that and then put you there. That could actually kill you, but that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. It's going to protect our damage. And it did some damage. That's fine. I think we put you there as fodder. That, there we go. That tipped the scales enough. It doesn't matter. I need to learn how, how to better use items as well. That's something I'm not really doing right now. That's probably pretty important to victory. Yes, yeah, so we go with one cost. Porcupine's fine by me. Right, like a porcupine. Please give us damage. Please give us damage. Oh, it's health again. Fuck me. I don't need more health. Ugh. Oh, yes. I, I I really risked it there. Because I was like, if I don't, if, I, if it gets rid of the porcupine, I won't even care that much. But now I have a porcupine that can deal a lot of damage to enemies by just taking damage. Put you there. And the mantis behind. The mantis behind the stump is a pretty good tactic here. Because we get damage and they can't damage us so easily. Does mean we have nothing blocking them damaging us, though. That is a problem, but... Okay, get as much damage as we can out. And one more turn and we'll tip the scales, actually. We should be fine here. There you go. We're getting good at these quick, short battles. We're getting a lot better at them. Go this way. I don't think we have any pelts for sale right now, do we? Oh, no, this is the guy that gives us pelts, right? You have none. Oh, uh, right, okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And then this... What's this again? Your pack was full. Some small critter approached. Hey, little rat. Give us a pack rat. Thank you. Back onto this guy again. Back onto the... The ugly man. We get our Greater Smoke again. I haven't actually had a proper look at the Greater Smoke yet. Probably should. I can smell it. It's a pretty bad starting. Starting setup here, honestly. Um, go Squirrel. Nope. Put it there, actually, because then it'll move to the right and leave its tail behind. So that's good. Then Great Smoke, you can go here. Why not? Taking the card here. There you go, Wolf. That's good. We'll take a bit of damage here, but we did a bit of damage. So that doesn't matter. Take that, that, put that down. That should kill the coyote. Nice. And then Pack Mule. Pack Mule's kind of stuck where he is now. We, we, he's kind of in a bad spot. 
Go put that down. Just, just for a bit more damage. Hey, we got the pack mule down. Got some cards. Dang, damn it. Okay, that's going to lose us those two. That's fine. What did we get from that? We got the raven egg, which I'm imagining hatches into a raven, but it's going to be kind of hard to keep that one in check. Um, elk could be kind of interesting. Go with that. Stink bugs there. But let's just go with um, our, our burn cards for now. Yeah. Um, don't really know the best way to do this for us right now. Maybe we go with this and take out the wolf here. Good. The elk comes along. Uh, tips the scale again. Difficult. Getting difficult. Grab this. Hey, does this have like beefed up porcupine? Yeah, it is. Okay, there you go. We're in a good spot now. Hey, we got our mantis as well. Right, this means we got our mantis for our next turn here, which is good. Really need to make sure I have more spots available when he does this. I keep leaving myself in a bit of a bad spot by uh, not really remembering that. So maybe we'll try it with a, doing a raven's egg to start. Get him. There you go. And then a, the raven comes in. Uh, the mantis isn't really going to do it for us here, is it? Maybe I'll just stall. Wait a minute. Let me just try this. If this works, I'll be very surprised. Do you know what? Um, let's actually get rid of that raven. Oh, I'm so dumb. I forgot that's how the bloodhound worked. That was a really dumb move by me there. It's kind of fine. I was going to say, it should, we should, it should have won us it anyways, but that was still, generally, I shouldn't be making moves like that. There was no need to. It, that was a risk if he didn't have as little health as he did. Right. The long elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. Touch of death. Interesting. I want to say Gek. Like, Gek seems so unassuming, but it's rare, so... I want to find out how it works. Yeah, on to the next area. So we'll go straight to here and try and upgrade that Gek. Fly swarm around you. You've entered the wetlands once again. So let's go here. Oh, I'm stupid. I thought I could pass through. I've just missed out on that. That was, that was dumb. We'll take another wolf for now. Yeah, I thought I could pass through here. I can't, can I? That's just me being stupid. You're gonna give me another pack rat. You better not. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna... I've, I've messed myself up a little bit here, I have. I went the wrong way and it's buggered me. I realize I'm gonna take some hits here, but for a good cause. There you go. That worked out mostly. And that's pretty good too. Hey, majorly tips the scales for us. Ooh, although the mantis there causing some issues. Leave that for now. Ah, that didn't quite do it for us though. Maybe not a good play that actually. Uh, do you know what? No, it is. It is. Let's just squirrel here. Put that there. Did a bit of over damage there. Yeah, you might have tipped the scales for this turn, buddy, but it's not going to help you for long. There you go. We've won. Okay, we do have a card removal here, though, which is nice. Raven. Another mantis. I'll take the mantis again. Okay, what do we want to remove? Probably our bullfrog. 
Yeah, let's go. Let's just remove the bull from. Thank you. Right here, I kind of think we've messed up here in not getting that fireplace. I think this is a doomed run. I know it's a bit early to say, but. Right, this is our good mantis. Still need more damage on that mantis, though. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that tipped the scale so far. Good. Porcupine should help a ton here. Nope. This does it's not helped at all. Skink there as well. Okay, 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 okay. Back to even, and we've got we've got enemy we got a bunch of stuff in place that has a lot of HP. They're still it's, it's the flying creatures though. They're doing over damage, killing us. Which eh, doesn't really help us all that much. This is just a constant battle of tipping the scales back and forth. And they're slightly winning each time. Okay, stink bug, that's good. Good, okay. This should this should be it now. The kingfisher flies, but nothing else does anymore, so. This should be it, there you go. God damn, that was tough. Oh no. Not again. Bring me pelts. I thought he, I thought something bad was going to happen because he said don't come to me empty hands again. Oh no! Another fucking pack rat! <laughs> fucking go away with the pack rats! Oh god, that's, that's a really, really bad hole to fall into. I need to be more aware of that in the future. Because look at this, we're just pack rat after pack rat after pack rat. And it's go there. I realise that's a bit of a waste, but it's our it's our bad mantis, so we're, we're dead here. The pack rats have ruined us. Yeah, we're, we're literally dead. There's nothing. Is, is there nowhere we can uh, we can give in? Because there's literally no way with this much damage that yeah, just end me now. Wow. We've just got a really bad build. Really bad build. There needs to be more ways to remove cards, I feel. Beehive. Like, I'm just getting cards constantly, and, I'm, and there's, like, so rare, so few opportunities to remove them. Maybe I get rid of my weak mantis. I still don't have my geck yet. What the hell? I'll do that. Okay, we're on to the boss again. I doubt this is going to go so well, but we shall try it. We do have this hook. Not now, there's nothing that can be hooked. Gek's here. Don't know what Gek does, but Gek is here. this. I don't really know. Fish hook. Hook one of my cards and take it as your own. You must have an empty space on your side to receive it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what, what Gek's doing right now, but... Well, okay, I see, I see. I'm a little, little scared of this. I'm a little scared of this. We're tipping the scale in our balance somehow. Slowly but surely. Don't you steal my porcupine? I need that. Do 
You're gonna steal that card in a moment, right? Do you steal that? God damn, that's brutal. Stealing my stuff. Another pack rat, god damn it. Ah, uh, the kingfishers. They just pile up, there's nothing you can fucking do about them. Just put that down, why not? Let us give up, please. I just want to say that I'm done. I'm so dead. I can't play anything because all I got is heckin' pack rats. You have my cards now, you dick. I don't like flying enemies, I've got to say. Flying enemies seem horrible. Is this a good wolf? It's not. This is a bad wolf. This is pointless. Just let me die, sir. Let me die. Come on, kill me. There you go, thank you. Useless. Useless to try against that dude. Okay, I kind of understand that guy's gimmick a little more now that he can steal our car. I didn't really realize that's what was happening before. I don't think I don't think he actually managed to do that last time. This death card thing is a little, a little annoying. Um, yeah, have that. Me again. Oh my god, I'm finding this so difficult. I'm really enjoying myself. This is a very good game. Um, but god damn, I'm finding it really, really hard to understand how to play well. I understand how to play. I do not understand at all how to play well. All right, give me the same deck again. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Keep going, okay. Take this first. I'm gonna go with Beast this time. Ooh, actually no, I'm gonna go with this. Black Goat. Okay. Good, I like Black Goat. We can go with like this. This is damage, nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go whole hog on this dude. It's gonna be risky as shit. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Yes. When it's this early into a run, I think we need to take those strong gambles. And getting some really high power, low cost stuff in our deck is gonna be great. Like, we put out the squirrel there. We put out the stir there. Actually, we'll put him here. That's gonna do that, that's fine. And then it's gonna move there, exactly. Out of the black goat, I guess. You're dead. Put you out there. There you go, easy. Bit of over damage as well. Go to the trapper. Get some pelts. Give me a free one and I get one of them, so I'm happy with that at least. That, that's good enough for me. And then away we go into here. You little shit. I hate these pack rats, man. I hate them. So annoying. Oh, <laughs> You little bastard. Pulled out. Ah, that's so annoying. Right. Um, put that there for now. Kill. Just to protect us. Sorry, Pell. <laughs> he gave us the fucking pack rat. Goddamn, now the alpha's here as well. Why did we have to draw such garbage that time? It does four damage, it's gonna annihilate me. Oh no, we got it, we got it. Bullfrog here. Okay. 
Okay, that puts the scale in our favor a little bit more. And it's back again. Okay. We should be fine now. It was looking a bit bad, but that th that should do it for us. One more just for safekeeping. There you go. Oh, my God. Take a one blood card here. Another black goat. It's damage again. I'm, I'm gambling. I'm doing it. Yes. Take him. I'm really gambling with this, but getting six damage on my stir is kind of incredible. I know that having one super uber powerful unit isn't always going to be the best. But for now, I'll take it. Honestly, just tell us fodder is fine by me. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, don't want to go that way. But we can we can go. Oh, there's a lot to remove a card actually. So let's go this way. Go with this elk. Yeah, pack right. You can go. And wait, no, 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 no. Pack right in there. Elk in there. Good. Have both of them, Elk, because I'll probably remove you two later. <laughs> Here's the Prospector. Right, remember, we need to kind of keep it light on the first stage. Right? Whatever we put on the first stage, we'll lose, and it's going to take up space. We kind of got to play into that. So... Hmm... Maybe we do a bit of that early on, then put the smoke creature there as well, and fuck it, put a pelt there as well, keep us safe. Okay, pelt goes good. This is going to hurt. I don't know why I did that. Oh, no, no. No, we're good. We're good. It's going to hurt a bit, but still not as much as I thought. Not quite going to kill us, I don't think. I don't know. doesn't feel like it's going to go well for me. I'm about to lose a life. Oh wait, no, you get one life and bosses, so I'm dead. I forgot about that. Oh <sighs> my lord, this game is really, really, really hard. Stop making me do this. I don't care. I never see these cards anyways. There you go. Okay. Let's run it back. Healy Suit Man once again. Oh, he's just showing me the knife again. I know about the knife, I guess. I, I mean, I don't really know what you're trying to show me, but you have shown me the knife before. Maybe this time I'll just stab myself straight away. Grab those. Okay. Me. Let's grab me. Try my deck down straight away. Let's be honest. It's a good idea. Get rid of our bullfrog here. And slap it on the wolf, why not? 
Don't really need to, but why not? Okay. This is fine. We can deal with that. Salutations, indeed. Put you there. I think we can't do anything for now. Hmm. Guess I'll take that. And then... Grab that and do that, maybe? Get rid of you, at least. Yeah, stink bug out there. Okay, this should tip the scales in our favor at least a bit. Then I can just play that, right? There you go. Okay, that was good. There's battle. And we can take a blood cost card as well. Go with that. Porcupine, nice. We'll take it. And then to thin out our deck a little bit, let's remove the porcupines bits and put them on you. That seems like a good idea. And then to battle once more. I want to try out the knife in battle again, see if it does anything. Salutations. Okay, good. Oh, there you go. The knife worked. Okay, and then we get another eye, right? This one. Looks weird. Happy with that one, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that helps. Apparently, I've not been using that knife enough, I guess. I'll take this one again. Into the fire. Ah, I've got a gamble here, and I don't like gambling, but I'm going to try it. Double. We've got to go twice. There we go. I'm happy. I'm happy. I am happy. Over here. Got a fireplace this way as well, which is always nice. Okay, so we get a cockroach. That's four burns that we got. We need for that, so don't worry about that for now. We'll save up for that. Oh, these are sparrows! Bullshit! Fuck's sake! Why'd I take a squirrel? Such a bad idea. I hate flying enemies. The worst. I don't know how to deal with them at all. A wolf here. No ability to play that, so let's just go like that. Oh my god. And then to end off our turn here, do that. This should give us some over damage. Nice amount as well. Grab a monster from over here. I will take this. Skink, yeah. Hello, Skink. I'm sure I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Probably like Stink or Skink. I don't know. I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, Skink. It is Skink. I'm going all the way again. It's risky as fuck, I realise, but... There you go. Give me you back. On to the Prospector. I, I always forget that the one light goes out. We get the Great Smoke, though. It's always nice. And let's take on the Prospector once more. Field mice. Let's try putting out the field mice straight away. How about that? Oh, we got another one, I see. 
Seems like good damage to start on the pack mule, of course. Yeah, let's pop, pop you out. Put the skink there as well to get that tail on the field. Actually, let's uh, eat both of those and go for our wolf here. There you go. Opens up that pack for us. My mule. My goddamn mule. Ooh, that tipped the scales in his favor a lot. Ant queen there, we've got kingfisher. Hello. Just pop that mule. I've already done it. I've already popped the mule. Do that now. Vulture can go out as well, why not? There you go. Right. Oh, that, that was not fully tipped. Heck, I thought it was. Right, this should do it. And that means we've not got too many tips over. And we've still got our good cards away in for us, so this is good. Okay. We need to protect this. Good. Okay. Nice. Now we're in a bit of a bad spot. Worker and out there as well. Ah, that hurts. That hurts. Do that. This should win us it, I think. Yes, okay, okay. One more turn like that, and I think we're good. Boom. You're done. Oh, okay. It's very, very scary, but we got it. Okay. I still want to find out how Gek works, but this time let's take the Mantis Lord. The Mantis Lord is just very, very good. I don't really know how Gek works, and I don't want to get into that now. A moment. Here. Let's go this way. Reroll those. Um, I don't really want any of these. I guess I'll take this one. Then, there's not really a card here I'd like to get rid of, but I suppose... Actually, no, 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 no. Let's, let's go with the Skink instead. And attach that ability to you for now. Just to remove a card from my deck. I, I mean, I realise that, like, you got to be careful because you don't want to run out of cards to use. That's, like, definitely a fear. But at the same time, I don't want it to be... My, my deck to be crazy full. Yeah. Ringworm. I still don't really know how that works. There's that tail. Good. We can actually get rid of the tail to place the wolf as well, which is really nice. That over damage does a bit of extra killing power as well. What does this ability do? Okay, that's just the borrow ability, I see. Isn't it just going to end up moving to... Wait, what? Oh, I won. <laughs> I wasn't even realising that I was going to win there. Uh, keep going this way, up to the fireplace again. I will take Beast. Ooh, Bloodhound. Okay, 
I've not had a Bloodhound yet, but they seem useful. And even so, we will upgrade its damage. Yeah, I'm going to say upgrade the Bloodhound's damage seems like a good idea. I'm going to go triple upgrade on the Bloodhound here. If we lose him, we lose him. Whatever. Yeah, there you go. Like I said, you gotta take those risks. A lucky draw. Not really. You, s you keep saying that, but not... Not so much a lucky draw. Get our Mantis God out there for now. Yeah. Three teeth on the scale already. That bee's gonna kill the Mantis. Oh no, we're good. Just about. Okay, there's our Bloodhound. Okay, that's fine for now. That's probably actually good for us, right? Because now I can go... Place that out there. That out there. And then... Get our Bloodhound going. For five damage on everyone. It's going to follow enemies around as well. Ooh, that mantis kind of hit me hard there. I didn't, I didn't see that coming. Stur goes there with the tail. Okay, we gained a bee there. Corpse maggots. Okay, that's fine. We can keep that as is. That can just be played. And that tips it in our balance. One more turn like that and we win. Corpse maggot goes out. Corpse is in no short supply indeed. There you go. And this get this seals the deal and gives us a bit of overkill. Nice. Um do we have any duplicate cards? I don't actually know, but I'll go this way nonetheless. Take this again. Ringworm, not all that good. I don't even know if we have any duplicates. What do they do if you don't? You have no duplicate cards. Take one of ours. We will use it next time. Ooh, so I can get to take a duplicate of anything. Yeah, let's take a duplicate of the Mantis God. That's good. Yeah, there you go. Then we we double up on the Mantis God over there. I see. That's 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 nice. That I like that a lot. Indeed, you again. Yeah, it's gonna plop out the tail. That's good. It's always scary when there's kingfishers though. I I hate them. I can't fight against them very easily at all. Of course, nothing to play here, so I'm going to lose a, a life here. That was good. I don't know how to deal with the fucking kingfishers. They're so annoying. I don't think we have any pelts for you, sir. Profoundly disappointing. Right. This can duplicate our... That like, can take our duplicate Mantis Lords now. And that'll be two and two rather than one and one. It's pretty good. Right. Still... Unsure how to play this this guy, but we'll figure it out. Okay, we managed to get that out on the first turn. That's good. Ah, there you go. That was a good first turn. Go fish. That shark's gonna hurt. Oh, it just insta kills. <laughs> what am I meant to do there? And 
this god again. It's just gonna die straight away again, but what else am I meant to do? Oh wait, that did it. That did it. Okay. I wasn't expecting that at all. Awesome. Get a legendary card again, shall we? Another Mantis God. I'm just, honestly, I'm just going to take another Mantis God. They're so good. They're weak, but they're so good. Just chip away at everything. Right, we're here again. Find the snow line. Okay. What do we want to go for? I think health is fairly likely. Let's go for that. Yeah, there you go. Trial was passed. Not very good stuff here, I'll be honest. I'll take another Bloodhound, I guess. That was a great first town on the Angler there. I was really proud of myself on that one. Let's take the knife, shall we? A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air if only for a turn. Take that as well, then. Why not? Um. Yeah, let's go this way. Ooh, okay. They have the uh, they have this this on them. Sharp quills. Okay, got to be careful about that. I'm going to take a risk here. Pretty bad risk, as you can clearly tell. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out at all. I'm not good at this game. I keep I keep having battles where I'm like, ooh, I understand it. I get it. And then I make a misplay like that, and I'm like, nope. Don't understand any of this. Turns out I'm just getting lucky sometimes. Nice. Some gold pelts here. Carve removal here as well. No, 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 no. Ringworm. Get rid of that bad boy. Another battle. Magpie. Mantis Gods goes down. I don't know what the magpie is yet, so we'll figure that out. They should win as it straight off the bat, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, this one I kind of want to lose on purpose. I don't want a new card. So what's what's the least likely of us to, to win with this? That one, the burn cost one. Okay, good. We did not win it. Therefore, we do not get a card. That is what I want to see. Offers us some carvings. This seems interesting. I've not seen that symbol in a little bit on any cards. Go for another fight. Bloodhound there. Go for the stone, place that there. We'll get the Bloodhound out in a minute. Oh my god. I don't, I don't understand what you do when all of them move towards you like that. It's brutal. Ooh, that's not a good Bloodhound either. Wait, which one is a good? Oh! Creates a copy in your hand. Okay. I don't know if that's a good thing. We'll figure it out with that, but... Oh, god damn it. It feel like a good thing to me. I mean, I suppose technically we can, like, do this and get another one. Just fill our board full of them. Ah, now nah, we're, we're dead here. These, this, this Sparrow and Raven are kill me. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with flying enemies. Right. We we made it so far once again. I feel like we're, we're slowly making progress. We're getting a little better, but 
I'm still there's a few things I'm really think, struggling to understand. And I realize you guys are probably commenting and you're really frustrated that I'm not understanding some basic concept concepts. But as I said, I'm recording this all in like one big session to not be spoiled and to not have people spell it out to me because I don't think that's very fun. I'm going in very blind here, so um, I apologize if it's frustrating, but the way it is. Why did I pick the cost that actually costs something? Idiot. Just these death cards, I'm not that interested. I just want to keep going. Me again. Two. Say cheese. There you go. We'll leave off this episode here for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know this is a very casual playthrough sort of thing. The commentary may not be super exciting, but... Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.